time for a picnic. Take out the strawberries. Enjoy the fresh air on our picnic, if you please. Lay down the Hi! Welcome to this video. Hey, we all love a sandwich on a picnic, but have you ever made your own bread? No. No? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to make bread in a bag. Have you washed your hands? Yes. 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 Let's get started. We need a chopping board, weighing scales, a bowl, a spoon, a lined or a non-stick tray, and some measuring spoons or a teaspoon to help measure. And, and, and we need some ingredients. Do you want to go through them? Yeah. And we need some sugar, what? water and flour. It's salt, mm. water, flour, and some fast action dried yeast. We also need a bag to make our mm -hmm. bread in a bag. Strong white flour is a special kind of flour, perfect for making bread. It contains more gluten, so actually it holds its structure once baked. Milla, what's your job going to be today, do you think? Weighing. You're going to do some weighing, so you're going to weigh out the flour. Perfect. We're going to get started weighing out our flour. Pop it on. You can obviously use electric weighing scale or a weighted one. Oh, thank you, Anna. And we're going to need the bowl on top. Let's go to zero and we're going to need our bag. We line the bowl with the bag, because then this stops the bowl getting messy and then tipping it into the bag, so we're saving ourselves some washing up there. So we're going to need 225 grams of strong flour. There we go, and make sure you've got it on your grams rather than your ounces, because otherwise you're going to have a lot of flour there. There we go, you keep tipping. I'm going to open up the yeast. These are in foiled packets, so they could be a bit tricky. How much do we need? You need 225 grams. Keep going. Two. 212. There we go. Perfect, Miller. Two, that's two, seven, that's actually. fine. That will work no, for two, us. Two, nine. So now we're going to tip in the yeast into the bag. There we go. Honor, uh, will you? Water? We're going to need a pinch of salt first. Uh, so we get all the dry ingredients so into the bag. So it's salty to make the bread. Yeah. You can add in some extra dried herbs for flavour. And there we go, perfect. And then we're going to add in 100 ml of warm water. This helps just to make the dough rise a little bit quicker. You can just use normal water or tap water. So there we go. All of it. Yeah, pop it in. Whoa. What's it look like, Anna? Oh, like bready and like all muggy. So the other really important thing to do is to obviously make sure it's completely sealed. Miller, can you just run your finger across the top and there we go. What's he doing? He's sealing it up and then yeah. I'm going yeah. to get you to start the mixing, Miller. Okay. All you have to do is give it a little yeah. massage with your hands. Yeah. Squidge it up and combine all the ingredients oh, together. Oh, falling out. Oh, that's the reason why we need to make sure we've done it up properly. We don't want it everywhere. There we go. Honour, I've prepared one for you earlier. So you can massage one too. Mix it all up. Okay. Massage. Massage. The aim for this Ooh. is to make sure you've That's massaged good. it and combined it so well that the dough actually comes away from the bag, almost leaving it in a ball itself. I can do. This is really good fun, but it will take about 10 minutes for it to be done and combined. So if you need to pause the video whilst you're doing this, then do it now. When it's not sticking to the bag, we know then that it's ready. Is yours nearly ready yet? Yeah. Is it? Uh, I don't think so. You've got a bit more I to do. Think so. Shall we give it a little mm. more of a <laughs> mix? <laughs> Keep going, Miller, you're doing really well. Oh, that is good work, Miller, I have to say. It probably need a few extra minutes yeah, okay. until it looks something like this. So this is all mixed in. We flour the board just so it stops the dough from sticking to the surface, otherwise you're going to have it stuck to your hands and then stuck to the chopping board and you won't actually have any to make the bread rolls with. So let's pop that up, there we go. Right, so it's coming away, as you can see, it's a little bit sticky. Oh, it's, and it smells yummy. Can you smell it? That's the yeast in there. It gives it life. The yeast is... Oh no, it's all stuck. So you mean it's going to come to life? Well, it does actually. You're right, Milo. It does come to life. 
in the fact that in the legs. fact that it gets bigger Yay! and bigger and fatter and fatter thanks to the yeast reacting with the water and the flour. Yeast. So, little Anna, if I can get you to then separate oh, it into oh. two balls. Oh, oh. Roll it into a ball for me, and then split it into two, and then roll those individually into a little ball as well. Ah, ah, ah. Anna, can you split that into two? pieces and then we need to make those into two balls. How do I do it? How do you do it? This is what I do. I would squeeze it in the middle and give it a little wiggle and then uh, really easy peasy like that. Do you want to have a go? Is that? Let's mix it into one again. Right, squeeze it in the middle and give it a... That is perfect. We've got a non-stick baking tray so we can pop them on there or you can use a tray with lining paper. There we go, and pop them on there. And then we're going to wrap them with cling film very loosely over the top. We're going to put this somewhere warm to let them rise for about 40 to 60 minutes. And while that's happening, let's press pause. These are ready now. We're going to put them in the oven. They take about 20 to 25 minutes to cook on 220 degrees or 200 if it's a fan assisted oven. Probably gas mark seven, round about there. Let's put them in. There we go. So this is a really good time for you to pause the video so whilst you clean up your area, ready for the next part. So we've cleaned up. Yeah. Shall we check if the uh, rolls are ready? Yeah! Yeah, let's have a look. This is best done with a bit of adult supervision, obviously, because the oven's incredibly hot. Mm. Oh, it smells delicious. Let's put this onto a surface. There we go. Some delicious homemade rolls. How do they smell? They smell mm. delicious, don't they? They really do. Yeah. A really good way to know if they're done is that there's a little hollow sounding noise that they make if you tap the bottom. Do watch out because it would be quite warm. Just like that. The best thing to do is pop them on a rack and let them cool. We're going to turn our freshly baked rolls into sandwiches so we can take them on a picnic. I just have it plain. You like it plain? I like it with just butter. What do you like it with though, Miller? What do you like a sandwich with? Ham. Ham, even better. There we go. Did you enjoy making those? Yeah. Yeah. If you'd like to have a go at making another recipe, there are more cook-alongs for you to explore. We'd love to see what you've made. Take pictures and tweet them to at eathappyproject, hashtag let's cook along. Bye, everyone. Bye.